look often to the sky for relief. Here we find man has created this relief on the earth, a new and exciting civic environment. of water, refreshing sight and sound, soothing, cooling, entertaining, whimsical, beautiful. We look often to the sky for relief, especially when man has not provided this relief on the earth in his civic environment. play of water, lost, neglected, abandoned, the wonder and delight, nowhere to be found. Progress. Progress means many things to many people. Progress of this type cannot help but rekindle the spirit in the hearts of many. Smell, see, and touch the hand of nature. To ride casually. Free to walk, to set the pace, regulated only by time. A place to stroll, for young and old alike. A place of pride. Can this really be called progress? unique, full of charm? Where can the spirit in man's heart find comfort when dominated by vehicular traffic, black asphalt, yellow stripes, street signals, exhaust, competing traffic flow and noise, cars, 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 Abandoned tree wells, litter-filled gutters. Can we really have pride? Imagine reading in the heart of downtown. Is this an atmosphere for leisure? Thoughtful detailing or regretful decay. The whimsy of the creative mind or the standard product, too often mediocre. New confidence in downtown has stimulated growth, higher land values, a new city hall, and adjacent convention centers. One of the newly completed buildings, just off the mall. Over $3 million in remodeling of businesses directly on the mall. Let not these signs be the signs of the time, today or in the future. The Fresno Mall, an example of sound planning and management where ample off-street parking permits the separation of pedestrians and autos. Where children may play. Where window shopping is enjoyed to the tune of pipes, music, and rippling water. environment of intimate human scale, where tired feet are quietly whisked away, where thirst and hunger may be satisfied in a relaxing atmosphere. Santa Barbara, an example of Main Street anywhere. This surely cannot be a tourist delight. Where is this charm, this flavor, we read and hear about?
continuous traffic conflict. The flashing heartbeat of mechanical control. Neglect. Unimaginative detailing. How can this confidence be restored? Surely we are proud of the landmarks and the people whose grand heritage has so long endured. Would they be proud of us today? and work is still within our reach. The hope of the central core of many of our rapid growing communities lies in this serious reappraisal. We must be prepared to establish our goal, refine our philosophy for growth, and strengthen our determination before this realization can be a reality.